En quoi tu Tu m'as baissé peut-être. Veuillez vous asseoir. En The court is now back in session. L'audience est reprise. We once again hand the floor to the defense team for Yang Sari to continue putting questions to the witness Suong Si Kun. You may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Your Honors. Sir, I want to move now to the part where you were discussing your duties as spokesperson of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and I'm referring to in particular Khmer ER number 00832164-65, French, it's 00833107-06, Nine, I believe, à 09, uh, je pense. and it's and in English, 0, So here you're asked a question about your duties as spokesperson, and you indicate, and you're asked about who your direct superior is, and you state the following. Ying Sari was my direct superior. However, in some sections or tasks, I directly work for Pol Pot in his capacity as the party's secretary. In that capacity, he would assign me to, ta to any task Il legally. Me fixer à so I wanted some clarification, soir. particularly in light Legalement. of your answers earlier today. Uh, You're saying here that he would assign you in his capacity as party secretary, and these would be legal tasks. De secrétaire du parti, il me confiait des tâches is he acting in, in a different capacity here than he would in the other instances you spoke of today where he would just make decisions because he is Pol Pot? That is the principle of the appointment in regards to the party, the subordinate shall follow the orders or instructions from the superior, and the minority shall respect the majority. Pol Pot, in his capacity as the party secretary, he can assign any task to any of the party's members directly without having to go through the direct superior of that party's member, and that is the principle of organization. Okay, thank you for that clarification. Well, perhaps you can help us out here then. If we move to um, another section of your transcript, and this would be, again, August, uh, six, and it's Khmer zero zero eight three two one eight eight to eight nine uh, French zero zero eight three three one four five and English zero zero eight three three two six zero. Here you were asked a question. Uh, did you have, if you had any contact with uh, Nunchia during the DK period? And your answer, or part of your answer, is that Nunchia requested that you prepare an article about a democratic uh, Kampuchea foreign policy. And that was the only occasion that you had with Nunchia. Uh, do you see that part of your testimony, sir? Est-ce que vous retrouvez cet écrit, cet extrait à l'écran? Demande Marc Carnavas. Yes. Réponse. That was my statement. Oui, c'est ce que j'ai déclaré. And, and <coughs> the clarification that I'm seeking at this time is: Carnavas, la précision. In what capacity did Nunchia ask you directly 
to write an article on the foreign policy of Democratic Compuccio. What authority did he have over you? You've told us that Pol Pot, by virtue of his position, could order anybody, including you, to do anything. What about in this instance? Party secretary. So he also had the authority to contact directly with party members. Okay, thank you. Uh, one final question in this area. Uh, you told us what they could do legally as uh, secretary and uh, deputy secretary of the party. Uh, did they need to get clearance uh, from Mr. Ying Shri in this instance? Or did they, did, yeah, let's take with that. Did they need to get clearance from him? To allow you to carry on these functions. Pour vous permettre de d'exécuter ces tâches. I cannot know for sure. Réponse. Je ne pouvais pas en être certain. But in certain circumstances, it was not necessary. Mais dans certaines circonstances, ce n'était pas nécessaire. As Pol Pot would deal directly with any of the party's members, and when he concerné. would deal directly with you, Question, and, and we understand you had a personal avec or vous. a friendly relationship with him, him because you had known him for quite a bit. Lui, une relation But in dealing with you in particular, in assigning Donc, you tasks, dans contacts avec vous, did you always vous tâches, run those tasks by Mr. Xri in advance, or did you carry out the tasks as instructed? By Pol Pot. Vous effectuez ces tâches en passant par Yang Sari, ou bien est-ce que vous exécutez ces tâches telles qu'elles étaient fixées par Pol Pot? When it comes to the tasks assigned to me directly, then I would deal with Lorsque him directly, without having to consult with Mr. Je traitais directement avec lui sans devoir consulter Yang Sari. And if, uh, if Pol Pot were to ask you to si Pol Pot not disclose vous what you are working on on his behalf, were you obliged to follow those orders? Que vous étiez obligé de or vous because you were working for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, you had to report that to vous deviez Mr. Yang Sari. Le signaler à Monsieur Yang Sari. If I worked directly with him, si je travaillais directement avec lui, in my capacity as the party's member, en tant que membre du parti, I had no obligation to report that to Yang Sari. Je n'avais pas l'obligation de le signaler à Yang Sari. In the case that he asked me about that task, then I would report to him. S'il me posait une question à ce sujet, je lui en parlais, mais s'il ne me demandait rien, je n'avais pas besoin de lui signaler la chose. Because in regards to Pol Pot's position within the party, he was above Yang Sari. Car dans le parti, Pol Pot était au-dessus d'Yang Sari. All right. La défense. Très bien. And so, just to make sure I get it right. Pour être sûr d'avoir bien compris. So, if he were to ask you or si order you to keep vous something avez secret demandé, and not disclose it, de garder une information because secrète, of his de ne position, pas la divulguer. Compte tenu you de sa position, est-ce que vous étiez obligé his, de vous conformer à cet ordre bah, bah. Réponse. Yes. Oui. That was sure. As a party member, Sans aucun doute. I had to en tant que membre du parti, je devais me conformer à ses instructions. And that would not Question. be considered insubordination. With respect to Mr. Et cela n'aurait pas été considéré comme une attitude d'insubordination vers M. Xavi. C'était parfaitement terms. légal, en quelque sorte. Witness, please wait the prosecution. You may proceed. Le président témoin, veuillez attendre. La parole est à l'accusation.
Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je crois que Thank you, Mr. la question de la défense I think est the question une question largement orientée. Is et donc, je vous demanderai à ce stade d'intervenir et de considérer que cette question n'est pas appropriée. Euh, Maître Carnavas voudrait bien so faire dire aux témoins, euh, faire confirmer les conclusions qu'il tire lui-même de ce passage, mais je ne crois pas que ce soit une façon appropriée de procéder. Il est en train de faire des conclusions confirmées de ce qu'il est en train de faire sur la base de ce passage, et je pense que ce n'est pas approprié. La Défense, j'aimerais obtenir des précisions. Si l'on examine ma question, il est clair qu'elles se fondent sur des faits signalés par le témoin. Ce n'est pas comme si je lui demandais de confirmer ce que moi je dis. Je m'en remets à la Chambre. Si elle considère que ma question n'est pas appropriée, je passe à la suite. President, le président. Regarding the question put by the council, the chamber is of the view that the objection and its ground by the prosecution telle qu'elle a été motivée par l'accusation is valid. Est so valide. please, council, could you rephrase Maître, your question? Maître, veuillez reformuler votre That's question. Point number one and point number two. Deuxièmement, please try to avoid. Veuillez éviter de poser des questions hypothétiques the ones that draw et des questions amenant the le témoin which are, course, à présenter ses propres conclusions, car ceci est inapproprié, bien entendu. Uh, thank you, Mr. La Défense. Um, Merci, Monsieur le Président. Well, witness, I'm not Asking you to speculate, moi, je ne vous demande pas de spéculer, mais so simplement de nous aider à comprendre operated. la structure et le fonctionnement. Uh, I'll just move on. I think I, Je passe à la suite. Uh, I'll leave it at, at what we have thus far. Laissons les choses uh, let's talk about en l'état. Uh, this Parlons is a topic that was raised by the prosecution. L'accusation a soulevé la question. And uh, we can see in the same page that you talk page, about the, that there were various types of meetings. Vous dites qu'il y avait différents types de réunions. And In the context of describing these meetings, on the following page, à la page suivante, and I will read the, vous avez décrit the ERA numbers, numbers. Je donne numbers. 00 83 0, 0, 0, 2165, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, en français 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, The MFA was Vous dites divided que le ministère des Affaires étrangères était divisé en deux sections. L'une, c'était la section du département et l'autre, c'était la section du bureau. And the bureau dealt with production, le bureau s'occupait de la production, food, de la sécurité et de l'alimentation, par exemple. La section du département traitait affairs. des questions diplomatiques. And they were under different organizations, et under the different les deux relevaient d'organisations de branches du parti différentes. 
Je voudrais aborder plus avant la structure du ministère des Affaires étrangères. Peut-être pourrez-vous nous aider à éclaircir les choses. Vous travaillez dans la section du département, si j'ai bien compris votre réponse laquelle s'occupait des affaires diplomatiques. Est-ce que je peux donc tirer raisonnablement cette conclusion sur la base de votre réponse Réponse. Non, c'était le contraire. À B1, donc au ministère, il y avait d'une part le bureau qui s'occupait de la production, de la sécurité, et il y avait le département qui s'occupait des questions diplomatiques. Moi, je relevais du département diplomatique lequel s'occupait des affaires diplomatiques. Question. Donc vous ne releviez pas du bureau Je passe à la suite. Je voudrais examiner certaines de vos déclarations. Le président, je vous en prie, maître. L'avocat du témoin. Bonjour, monsieur le président, mesdames, messieurs les juges, bonjour à tous. Le témoin vient de dire qu'il travaillait au département et non pas au bureau du ministère des Affaires étrangères. La défense, je ne pense pas qu'il y ait de problème. C'est exactement ce que j'ai dit. J'ai posé une question, il n'y a pas eu de réponse, je suis passé à la suite. Passons à la page suivante. Là, vous expliquez que la section du bureau avait une cellule du parti et que Mme Sorsé était la secrétaire du parti. Vous dites que vous, vous étiez membre. C'est ce qu'on trouve dans la transcription à la page 44 ou en Khmer à la page 0083, 21 86 en français, 86 en français, 31 et en anglais, 00-83-32-30-31. C'est la raison pour laquelle je vous demande des éclaircissements. Il y a un autre passage vous parliez de réunion de la cellule du parti. Et ce serait dans la page 083, 21-72-73, en français 00-83, 31-21. Et en anglais, 00 83 32 40. J'aimerais éclaircir certains points. Aujourd'hui, vous avez dit que d'après votre compréhension des choses, vous travaillez au département et au sein du département, vous étiez dans la section diplomatique. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris Laissez-moi préciser à nouveau. Mon avocat vient de préciser les choses. Lui aussi. Le ministère des Affaires étrangères était divisé en deux. D'une part, le bureau, d'autre part, le département. Moi, je travaillais dans la section du département qui traitait des affaires diplomatiques. La défense. Et quand il y avait des réunions, Lorsqu'il y avait des réunions dans la section diplomatique, qui présidait ces réunions Dans la section diplomatique du département. 
Était-ce Sarce Madame Sauce Réponse Madame Sosa was the Madame Sosa chair during the meeting and she was the head of the party branch. Elle était à la tête de la cellule du parti. And I believe this is la the défense. same person Je pense que that you mentioned earlier la même personne que vous avez that you were turned over your work product vous avez dit to, uh, to pass on to Paul Pot que c'est à elle que vous remettiez le fruit de votre travail pour qu'il soit communiqué à Pol Pot lorsque vous rédigez ces articles pour l'information et propagande. Pour l'information et propagande, ce que j'ai bien compris. Réponse. Yes, it was the same person. Effectivement, c'est la même personne. Now, question. Were you physically? Well, let me. Rephrase. Where were you physically located? Your office, keeping in mind that you worked in many different places or, votre bureau, or had du fait different tasks. Que vous aviez Where were you physically located at the time? At different endroits. At the time, where were you located physically? My office was Réponse. located Mon bureau in the curved glass house. It is situated in the Council of Ministers office. La maison and de verre qui a présent est le siège du Conseil des ministres. If you entered from the right hand side, it was the first si room. Entrait, par la droite, c'était la première so salle. So people who came to work, Donc, including those cadres, ceux qui venaient travailler, y compris les cadres, avant d'arriver dans leur bureau respectif, came into my office. Ils passaient d'abord par mon bureau à moi. Okay, and was that in B1? Question. Est-ce que c'était à B1? Yes, it was Réponse. within the compound of oui, B1. C'était dans l'enceinte de B1. And can you tell us how many Question. buildings were in B1? Combien de bâtiments B1 comportait-il? There were a Réponse. number of buildings. Il y avait là plusieurs bâtiments. Which were used as Ces bâtiments offices. étaient utilisés actually, comme espaces de bureau. Quant à la offices. maison de verre, And elle était utilisée comme espace de bureau. Et il y avait un autre bureau. C'était une villa d'un étage qui n'était pas employé comme bureau, mais bien comme lieu de résidence. Et derrière, il y avait les lieux où logeaient les cadres et les combattants. Il y avait quatre ou cinq bâtiments. Question. E3 slash 100. E3 bar 100. Il s'agit d'une déclaration que vous avez faite le 17 décembre 2007. You made several statements. You are going to go through some of them. Fait différentes déclarations. Je vais en examiner quelques-unes. Ça c'est la première. Khmer zero zero two zero 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 one forty one forty seven forty seven forty eight forty eight French zero zero three four three four six nine nine forty six seven hundred zero zero two two three six three six or page three twenty two twenty six twenty six. Et to ici, explain the management structure of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And I want to go through part of your answer. And hopefully you can clarify some matters. You state here at the time of the first meeting that you were called to the Foreign Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The Foreign Ministry was called B1. Mr. Yang Sari was chairman. There was a General Secretary, an office 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 chairman. There was a General I suspect it's So Hong. Je suppose que c'est So Hong. This office was divided into a security section with Chim as chairman. As chairman, Chim as chairman. Madam Sosay, 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 Madam Sosay
of the party branch. Du protocole et de la branche du parti. The general political section Concernant la section de la politique générale, the chairman, Yang Sari lui-même en était président, and in it were a number of intellectuals like Ok Sokun, Ok Sokun, Mr. Chun Prasit, Chun Prasit, and Mr. Ki Chun, Chun and others. Ainsi que d'autres. The propaganda and information section la section had me as the chairman. La propagande et de l'information, j'en étais président. In late 19 77, Mr. Nikon was chairman of the protocol section de la section du protocole, as a successor of Madame Sauce. Mr. Nikon had Nikon previously been a sector secretary in the West Zone. De secteur dans la zone the ouest. party affairs sections Quant à la section, des affaires section du parti, had separate people in charge whom I did not know. Plusieurs responsables que je ne connaissais pas. Let me stop right here. Uh, do you stand by uh, your answer here, fin de uh, where you describe que vous cette uh, Mr. Yang Sari as the, as the chairman, Yang Sari était président, then So Hong as general so secretary, était secrétaire général, and under him, et uh, Pi Pun being the chairman Pi of the security section. Que de la section de la sécurité. Yes. Réponse. I stand by oui. this statement. Je maintiens ces propos. All right. La défense. And Très bien. then you describe uh, Ensuite, what Madame Sosse uh, vous did. Décrivez Chairman les fonctions of the General Secretary, Chairperson of the Protocol Secretary, and Secretary of the Party Branch. Chef du It would appear from this answer that she's holding three different Apparemment, positions. Il y avait donc Trois postes que cette dame Is occupait. Est-ce exact Ma Réponse. Yes, it is correct. Oui. Now, at some point, and Question. we'll get to it, hopefully, uh, you've qu indicated to us that the secretary dit at the embassies was actually the more, most important person, more important le than the ambassador. La personne plus importante, plus importante Do you recall making that statement? Vous souvenez -vous avoir dit ça? Uh, yes, that was oui. my statement. Ce que dit. In fact, uh, for Question. the record, it can be found on... Pour mémoire, Khmer 0083199 to 200 jusqu'à 200 I believe that's where it is. yes je pense que c'est là uh, English oui. 0 en anglais 833 et en français Now, I just have a point of clarification. Je Would she be the equivalent of the secretary son était as you described in the embassy? celui d'un secrétaire d'ambassade, selon la description que vous en avez faite? Monsieur le Président, j'aimerais que l'avocat précise sa question. S'il veut que je compare le statut de secrétaire de parti dans une ambassade avec le rôle de secrétaire d'une cellule du parti, Mr. President, le Président, could you please Maître, pourriez-vous préciser votre question not, uh, Le témoin n'a pas bien compris. Veuillez établir une distinction claire lorsque vous parlez de secrétaire. secrétaire Est-ce que vous parlez du secrétaire en tant que chef de section ou de département Ou bien est-ce que vous parlez de secrétaire dans le sens de secrétaire du parti Il y a aussi une distinction à établir entre un ambassadeur et un secrétaire d'ambassade stationné dans un pays étranger. Uh, thank you. Well, that's la the clarification that I am seeking. Justement la précision que j'essaye d'obtenir. Fix uh, powers or authority to anyone, just for for some clarity. 
Well, let me go about it in another way. What exactly Je was her function at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs as you understood it at the time? Exact au ministère des Affaires étrangères, tel que vous les compreniez à l'époque. As far as I know, Réponse. the council would like to know about the duties of Madame Sosa. Am I correct? Est-ce que j'ai bien compris? Est-ce que l'avocat uh, yes. pose des questions sur les attributions de Madame Sosa? La défense, oui, et ce, en ses différentes qualités. Yes, like God, you like her, but God, but no. Dans la pratique, elle était secrétaire de la cellule du parti, mais elle n'avait pas d'autorité réelle parce qu'elle était subordonnée à Sohong et à Yeng Sari. Son rôle consistait uniquement à diriger les réunions. Et c'était tout. Quant au résultat des réunions, il en était fait rapport à Sohong ou Yeng Sari. Je n'avais pas de détails là-dessus. Just to uh, recap, her en résumé, main role was son rôle the responsibility in the general principal secretariat était de s'occuper du secrétariat général. Charge of preparing the documents Elle était chargée de préparer les documents. The of guests Elle s'occupait de l'accueil des the invités. And likewise, that applies to the protocol section. Même chose pour la section du protocole, car ces deux the sections time. avaient beaucoup de travail à l'époque. Thank you. Now, further down, Merci. Well, let, before I go further down, uh, you state that uh, you mentioned So Hong. Vous citez so Hong. And what was your understanding of his position? What, did, vous, what were his responsibilities as general secretary et responsabilité en tant que secrétaire général and office chairman et président du bureau? In fact, Réponse. his role as the general secretary il était had nothing secrétaire général to do with et son the rôle était affairs sans rapport aucun section. avec la section des affaires diplomatiques. He dealt directly with the bureau section. Il traitait directement that avec is la section du bureau, production, chargé de la production, de la sécurité. As well as dealing with the security for those foreign guests who visited Cambodia, he did that in coordination with the people and certain other countries. All right. And I take it since you were, at least in 2007, you were aware. That Pipun was the chairman of the security section. Pipun avait été chef de la section de la sécurité. Did you know him back then? Est-ce qu'à l'époque vous le connaissiez? Kim Skalu Pipun, né né Pichinam Mipon. New Pipun in 1975 when I went to work at the of J'ai connu Pipun en 75 quand je suis allé travailler au ministère des Affaires étrangères. Il m'a dit d'être responsable de la sécurité et de la protection du personnel diplomatique, des locaux diplomatiques et des représentants diplomatiques qui étaient en poste au Cambodge. Thank you. But it would appear, at least from your statement here, that you knew him as the chairman of the security section. Did you know him as the chairman of the security section back then? Did you carry that title? Vous le connaissiez en cette qualité, président de la section de la sécurité. Est-ce qu'il avait ce titre? Let me clarify that. Réponse. Laissez-moi préciser, à l'époque, je le connaissais en sa qualité de responsable d'assurer la sécurité du personnel diplomatique, mais je ne lui connaissais aucune autre fonction. Maintenant, en parlant avec So Hong, pour un second, 
Je voudrais rester in your statement sur, uh, of 13 sur March 2009, la cote ERN en Khmer, 0029-0420. French 0024312332 And you were asked the question here were these two structures subordinated, subordinated to Ing Siri? Meaning uh, the Bureau à savoir donc le bureau and the, um, and the office. And you stayed here in principle, yes, in principle, principe, but in practice, oui. en since pratique, Pol Pot's nephew was the head of the, Pot quote, office, unquote, the former could decide Yen, whatever he wanted without consulting Yang Sari. And then you say it was the same for the diplomat section. And then you give an example. Uh, do you see that passage, sir? Response, yes, I do. Now, you, you inform us here that So Hong was Pol Pot's nephew of course, this is 2009. Were you aware that he was Pol Pot's nephew between 75 and 79? Did you have that information? Response, yes, I was. And do you know what sort of a relationship he had with his uncle, Pol Pot? Quelles étaient ses relations avec son oncle Pol Pot Réponse Réponse. Non, je ne savais pas ça à ce moment-là. Je ne savais pas après 1979. Et la personne qui m'a dit tout ça était proche de moi. Et en fait, pratiquement, Pol Pot n'a pas aimé. So Hong, because So Hong was a person, I may say, a person of middle path. He was not very determined, and he used the term, quote unquote, not a floating person. So he did not trust him very much. That's what I was told. Right. And um, may I ask who told you this information and when? J'aimerais vous demander qui vous a dit cela et quand est-ce que cette personne vous a dit cela? Response. Réponse. Counsel, may I um, wish not to respond to that question, please? Very well. I'll respect that. Uh, well, let's go back to from 75 to 79. Were you able to observe his interactions with his uncle at the time? If there were any, that is. S'ils ont eu l'occasion de se parler, bien sûr. Response. Response. I do not recollect the details, but so Je far as I remember, when I worked every now and then with Pol Pot, eu I did not see Sao Hong there. Sa Hong pas it présent. was only Yang Sari who was present. Seul Yang Sari this suggests présent. that he had nothing to do with the diplomatic section or matters directly. Pas and I contacted 
Pol Pot on et the diplomatic affairs. Et moi, je travaille avec Pol Pot sur les questions diplomatiques. Um, because we had to prepare exemple, the black paper parce qu'il me fallait préparer issue on September 1977. le livre noir en 1977. Thank you. Now, when you say uh, that this is what it meant, Lorsque vous dites que uh, are you not drawing a conclusion? N'êtes-vous pas en train de tirer une conclusion? Intervention hors micro de Maître Carnaval, signal d'interprète. Response. Mr. President, I do not understand Council's question. I'll move on. I'll go step by step. Uh, did you know So Hong's relationship, working relationship, that is, with Pipun, also known as Chiem, prior to 75? Response. Réponse. Before 1975, I didn't know these two individuals. Avant 1975, je ne pas Did ces you ever deux, learn at that time, that is between 75 and 79, whether these individuals ever worked together si prior to 1975? Response. Réponse. No, I didn't. As non, I indicated, je ne I had Comme never indiqué, known these two people before 1975. Well, my question is not whether you knew them. I'm je asking ai, whether you learned. Je vous ai pas demandé si vous les connaissiez. Whether you learned je vous ai between 75 and 79. Si whether en these two individuals ever worked together. And if I understand you correctly, the answer to that question is no. Si bien votre réponse, is that right? Response, yes, it is correct. And do you know whether these two individuals prior to 1975, had any connection with Pong. The President, uh, witness, could you please hold on? Monsieur International Co-Prosecutor, you may now proceed. Maître Canavas, vous pouvez poursuivre. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Le témoin vient de répondre qu'il ne connaissait pas So Hong Chim avant 1975 et qu'il ne savait pas donc s'ils avaient travaillé ensemble. Et là, on demande au témoin encore de savoir s'ils si auraient une relation avec quelconque avec Pong. Mais je ne crois pas que le témoin puisse répondre à cette question. Il ne connaissait pas ces individus avant 1975. Alors, poser des questions auxquelles le témoin ne pourra pas apporter de réponse, je ne crois pas que ce soit admissible et utile de l'interaction. Uh, Mr. President, now that we gave the witness the answer, Canavas, que vous avons, uh, my question nous avons was whether he learned témoin, between 1975 and 1979. Now he's in situ. He's, he's in B1. Il était à B1. And obviously il était he might have learned something during that period. Pu... And my question is, did he know? Now cela. the prosecution brought out the question of the name Pong in 870. And the witness indicated uh, that he knew of him and in fact described one incident. Vient d'évoquer 870, c'est lorsque le témoin a dit qu'il a décrit un incident. Donc moi, je demande si l'a su, soit il a eu connaissance, soit il n'a pas eu connaissance. S'il en a eu connaissance, c'est comment a-t-il eu connaissance S'il n'en a pas eu connaissance, dans ces cas-là, je vais passer à autre chose. Réponse, non. Réponse, non. Thank you. And I've just been told by my colleague that in Khmer, learning and knowing is the same word. So there may be some 
avoir connaissance de quelque chose et attendre, c'est la même chose en Khmer, et peut-être qu'il y a quelque chose qui se perd au niveau de la traduction, au niveau de ces nuances, et peut-être que c'est pour ça que mes questions ne semblent pas ne vous semble pas raisonnable. Ne vous semble pas Now, être raisonnable, uh, corrige l'interprète. Do you know between 1975 and 79 si whether et 1979, Sohan had any Sohan dealings with or connections to Pong? Un contact ou a eu des li avait des liens avec Pong. Response: No. Réponse: Non. Same question with Chiam, Pipun. Do you know whether Pipun had any dealings with, directly or indirectly, direct ou indirect with Pong? Avec Pong. Response. Réponse. No, I don't know this either. Non, je ne sais pas non plus. Can you please tell us whether Question. Pipun, que vous nous dire where, where Pipun's office was located? Où était situé le bureau de Pipun? Response. Réponse. Pipun was located le bureau in several locations. De Pipun. Rather, uh, people had no office. Ou plutôt, people n'avait pas de bureau. Okay, does that mean that he was floating around from building to building? Maître Canavas, est-ce que ça veut dire qu'il circulait de bâtiment en bâtiment, y compris dans le vôtre? God. Response. It appeared to me that he had only a place to stay and he had to float from one place to another, performing his duties. Right. And when he was floating, was he also floating in the building where you had your office? Response. Yes, he Réponse. just paid oui. a visit and dropped by saying visite. a few words il and venait, then he left. Il disait quelques mots et il repartait. Right. And so I take it from this answer, Réponse. from 75 to Je 79, when he was floating in and out of the office where you were working in, dans votre bâtiment, you would have occasion to il vous meet with and speak to de le rencontrer Pipun, et de lui parler ainsi qu'à Kechin. Response. Réponse. I believe I could have talked to him. J'ai pu en effet lui parler. I also believe that the conversation Mais was more on a conversational basis rather than juste uh, digging into the duty or task we performed. And uh, why not dig de into the duty or task that you had performed? Why not ask him any questions concerning Et that? Yengzari, euh, pardon, Maître Canavas, pourquoi vous ne lui avez pas posé des questions justement sur ces tâches qu'il vous demandait d'effectuer? Sur ces tâches que vous étiez en train d'effectuer, corrige l'interprète. It was Réponse. embedded in the principle of the CPK. C'était le principe People même only minded du PCK. Their own business. Les gens ne s'occupaient que de leurs People propres affaires. People were advised not to On dig into other aux gens, ne vous occupez business. pas des If affaires I des had autres. To ask si j'avais à poser une question tasks, à Pipon sur I ses tâches, à ce moment-là, j'aurais violé ce principe I du PCK. Was not afraid of the party, but I was afraid that if I could have done so, Pipon would si fait, denounce me of um, pu breaching the me CPK's principle. 
Well, thank you, and that's what I was getting back earlier when I asked the question about secrecy and the slogan being that secrecy is 50% of winning the revolution. That's part of the, the principle, right? Not to know or only to know what you're supposed to know. Response. Réponse. What would happen to you if you were to pry in, if you were to be asking him questions about his task? Question. Si vous Let me flip the question around. Tâches, what if he, what, if he, on his own, were Et to disclose to you information si that you were not entitled to know? Was that permissible under uh, the authority? The president. Le president, witness, is instructed not to respond to questions that de begins with if, because it suggests that si the question itself is hypothetical. Une question Did the principle also apply to others, not just asking information, but also giving out information? And I don't want you to speculate. I want you to tell me. From your personal experience, son gré. Je ne vous demande pas de spéculer. Je vous demande de baser votre réponse sur ce que vous avez vécu. Response. This principle apply to everyone. Ces principes s'appliquer à tous. We did not wish to know information about others, and they also did not wish to know what they're not supposed to know. And if you were to be disclosing information that was confidential and secret to you, to what you were working on, were there any repercussions to follow? The President, International Court Prosecutor, you may now proceed. Oui, Monsieur le Président, c'est la même cas de figure qu'auparavant. La question commence par si jamais vous deviez communiquer des informations, etc. C'est encore une question hypothétique, Monsieur le Président. Le Président. The objection is sustained. Witness is instructed not to respond to that question. Thank you, Mr. President. I will avail myself to objecting on every instance the prosecution does this, because otherwise we will not get any testimony from anyone. And simply because a question starts with if, it is not speculating. It may be in some foreign language, but it isn't in English. I'm not asking the gentleman to speculate. I'm asking him on the procedure. He's here to give evidence on the structure. And he's an insider. He would know. He told us personally what would happen if he asked questions. I'm asking him personally what would happen to him if he gave away secret information based on his experience, his knowledge. He lived through the period we have not. Il a vécu à I cette accept époque, your, your ruling, nous n'étions pas I, présents. J'accepte la décision de la Chambre, it, I, même I si je ne suis pas d'accord avec cette Thank décision. You. Je respecte cette décision. Let me turn now to another part of your testimony. Zero, zero, eight, three, two, one, seven, one, to seven, two. French 00833119, English 00833238-39. This is again on August 6. And you're asked a question. On vous pose la question suivante. And you provide the following answer. Concerning important events, you say normally when there were when there was an important event, they would share they would share it with members of the meeting. And then you go on to say 
to the following question, uh, to the next question. I cannot recall it clearly. He did not tell us frequently concerning the decision of the Standing Committee, but he did not even mention that it was the decision of the Standing Committee. But rather, he mentioned that it was a decision of the party. So it was a collective decision by the party. So given that we're on the topic of speculating and assuming, can you please tell us how can you possibly say that this Comment was a collective decision or these were collective decisions when you have also told us, based on the prosecutor's questions, that you never attended any standing committee meetings? Are you not, sir, speculating here when you say that these are collective decisions? Response. Réponse. Mr. President, I do not Monsieur understand Président, the expression speculation here in its question. The President, Council, you are advised to Maître rephrase Canavas, the question because you use the term speculate, presume, or assume speculation, in the question that is dans une question part of the wordings that should be avoided in putting question and the witness appears to have problem understanding the question so you are advised to rephrase it Donc nous vous demandons de reformuler votre question. the question should be brief question precise concise indeed précise. and that the, the witness is able to understand it and respond to it precisely. People who are good at putting questions also uh, be good enough to make sure that the response can be made. Uh, it's not really that good at putting questions, then uh, you never expect that people could answer to the question. Thank you, Mr. President. Let's take it step by step. You were asked by the prosecutor whether you had attended any standing committee meetings or whether that they had provided you with any information of their, of their meetings. And the answer to that question, I believe, was no. Do you stand by that? Man. Response, yes. Réponse, oui. And just for the record, lest there be any question that I am Afin making this up, we can find it on 0083220000, French 00833162, and English 00833274. Now let's go back to this part of your answer, where you are asked about the standing committee or meetings. I'm sorry, you asked about information that was imparted. And the question is, but can you remember if from the time, from time to time, or regularly, he, being Mr. Sari, talked about decisions that are being taken by the standing committee of the party central committee? This was permanent. the question posed. Your answer, centre, I cannot recall permanent. it clearly. Je ne me he Votre did not tell us frequently concerning the decision of the standing committee, but he did not permanent. even mention that it was cas, the decision of the standing committee. But rather, he mentioned it was the disait, decision of the party. Une décision du parti. So it was a collective decision Donc, by the party. Par le parti. Now I want to focus on the last part where you say, so 
lorsque vous dites it was donc, a collective decision by the party collectivement par le parti if you did not attend any standing committee meetings si vous n'avez participé à aucune réunion how would you know that it was a collective decision by the party comment que c'était une décision collective du parti Response. I stated that Mr. Yingsri did not tell me that the decision was of the Monsieur standing Yingsari committee, although I do not collect the full message me uh, that decision was the common decision by the party or the collective de decision by the party. Une décision but as qui usual, parti, ou la décision the decision made Mais by Paul Pot alone represents the decision Paul made the, uh, the party, the decision made by the party already. Donc une décision and du parti other people would then agree with such decision. Être All right, if I understand your no, let me go back earlier. Today you testify that Pol Pot would issue decisions on his own. Do you recall saying that? Response. Yes, sometimes he had the authority to make Pot, his own decision as the secretary of the party. De and so what you're saying now is that only in those occasions Pol Pot would make decisions et on his own. Et parfois, il prenait, et ce ces That's your testimony under oath. Des décisions seules, c'est ce que vous déclarez sous serment Response. Réponse. I do not know this uh, very well, but Je ne sais pas in, in some instances, he did not uh, have uh, to meet with others before cas, he made uh, the decision. Il pas besoin de rencontrer d'autres personnes avant de prendre des décisions. So far as I know, that's what I stated. Voilà. Indeed, I uh, have taken déclaré. an oath, and I uh, still uh, je suis, je uh, keep. Uh, I, I still stand by what I said uh, under oath, uh, and you repeat this. It's like knocking my vous head uh, uh, by repeating that I made the statement under my oath. Si vous me tapiez sur la tête, de me rappeler ainsi que je suis sous serment. The president, Le president. council. Could you please be now advised uh, to refashion your line of question and try not to demoralize the de ne pas witness by le way of putting your question? We understand very façon. well all together that uh, this Nous witness has taken an oath and his Oath uh, taking notes also well recorded. And uh, we can also verify to make sure uh, for the record that uh, at the beginning of the trial that uh, he took this oath uh, before the chamber. If we go to uh, Khmer ERN 0083 a French zero zero eight three three one two zero to two one English zero zero eight three three two four zero. Here you're talking about zero zero quatre vingt trois trente deux quarante en the President, uh, Council, please repeat uh, the ER numbers uh, again because uh, it was read out too fast that it could not be properly rendered into Khmer. Uh, in Khmer is 0083 
English This is again from the transcript of August 6. Et donc and here you say août, that there were two branches of the party. Dans ce, dans, à cette page, the party il est de uh, deux subordinate to the parti, ministry and the other one to the party cell of diplomatic affairs. Des affaires and then further down you say that ensuite, the uh, members of the, the, the ministry party cell were myself, puis, uh, Mr. Uh, Tukhamdun, Kichun, Chuprasit, Sopan, Sopan, Tunpasit, and you say that Sopan was Sopan his personal secretary. Était son secrétaire personnel. May I ask what was being discussed at these party cell meetings? Ce qui and since these individuals ces were members, and we know that Kichun and Chuprasit Et nous savons que are Kichun alive and well, Procet, would they be willing, would, would they have information concerning what was happening at these meetings? Sur ce qui se passait dans ces réunions. The President, uh, witness, could you please hold down? Le président, c'est moi, veuillez attendre, la parole est au coprocureur international. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Il y a deux choses que je voudrais Thank dire. D'abord, la, la citation like est une points. citation partielle all, et j'attire l'attention de la Chambre sur ce fait-là, notamment sur le fait qu'une phrase qui n'a pas été citée par la Défense est que M. Yengsari présidait les deux the, cellules the, the, Uh, uh, deuxièmement, il invite uh, le témoin à spéculer, à demander Secondly, ce que d'autres personnes pourraient savoir du contenu de certaines réunions. Je crois que ce n'est pas le rôle du témoin uh, de le faire. Je ne pense pas que le témoin est la bonne personne pour donner cette information. If I may respond, first of Maître all, Canavas, the prosecution is notorious répondre. for taking things out of context or reading only parts of the answers. Que so I'm not doing anything that is contexte. not being done all the time. Donc rien fait and nor are we denying that the transcript says in Sari. The thrust of the question is, que is indicated who the members were. Mais il est ici qui les now, I'll forego the last part of the question. Je vais la but does he stand question. by his answer that these two individuals, Kichun and Prasad were members and were sitting in on the very same meeting that this gentleman was sitting in. Réunion que ce témoin. The President, I would like to hand over to Judge Cartwright. Uh, thank you, President. Uh, Mr. Carnavas, could you restate the question, please? Because you've dropped part of it, but we need to be clear which question you are now asking. Thank you. Bien savoir quelle est la question que vous posez maintenant. Apologies. La défense. Mes excuses. Simply, do you stand by your testimony? that these were the members of the party cell, and that they were attending the meetings along with you. Thank you.
Réponse. Response. Yes, I know that uh, they attended the oui, meeting because I was member of the cell. Aux réunions car j'étais membre de la cellule. The president interrupts. Uh, it is now le appropriate time for lunch adjournment. Before we adjourn, we would like to déjeuner. ask counsels for Mr. Ying Sari as to how much Yingsari. time he would like uh, to put questions to this witness. Thank you, Mr. President. Apologies. Merci, uh, merci, uh, I will need the remainder of our time uh, that was allotted to the defense, which was two days. Du reste I believe du temps I will need the entire Monday morning uh, with the gentleman. Uh, I would say that I'm going to go th I'm about halfway through my material. Je suis I will go and streamline, and I believe that there is uh, Je vais there's room uh, to streamline, and I'll keeping in mind uh, mon the admonitions uh, of the court, I will try et to tenir be as brief as possible. Des de la chambre, en étant aussi bref que I don't want to mislead the trial chamber. Mais je ne I will try to finish within the first part of the morning, erreur, but I cannot guarantee it. I think I will need the entire, entire morning, but there is a possibility that I can finish earlier. Thank you. Terminé lundi pour la pause de la mi-matinée. The president. Le président. Counsel, if Maître. witness is willing to give his testimony this afternoon so si that his session is fully concluded by the end of today, what would you say about this? We have just uh, obtained. Uh, information that uh, if uh, his testimony can be concluded by this afternoon, he will uh, do his best uh, to make sure that the testimony session is concluded by today. He is willing to go back uh, home as soon as possible because he has been here for several days already. I think, he, I think that can be uh, accomplished the whole afternoon. I'll spend the, the lunch period pendant la pause, you know, uh, refashioning my examination, je vais but I think I can accommodate the gentleman. I only mentioned Monday mon because of the half days. Je pense que je peux faire comme proposé. J'avais juste well, mentionné la journée de lundi. The president. Il s'agissait d'une demi-journée. Thank you, counsel. Mr. Sung Sikun. Merci, maître. Monsieur Sung Sikun. Can you? Advise the chamber whether you can bear with us for this afternoon session, or you stay healthy enough to give testimony for the rest of the day. Est-ce que vous vous sentez suffisamment en forme pour poursuivre cet après-midi, Mr. President? Réponse, Monsieur le Président. I am doing my best, but je fais de mon mieux. Afraid that I may not be able to proceed to the afternoon session. I may need a few days to rest because if failing to take some good rest, uh, my health will be Sans repos, worse. Je crains que mon état de santé and ne se uh, according to my observation of the questions by counsel, que I believe that without good rest. Uh, I am not able to si respond to the questions to the full capacity. Je ne pas 
I can be back on Monday if you wish, uh, and by that I believe that I can recoup and regain my strength lundi, to be healthy enough to respond fully de façon to the question posed to me. En pleine possession de mes the President, pour répondre aux questions thank qui you me very posées. much. The Chamber grants uh, your request Merci. and we follow la Chambre What, fait droit uh, you à votre demande. Asked. Nous allons donc And, procéder uh, comme vous l'avez proposé. For Mr. Yingzari can proceed with la défense de Yingzari pourra poser ses dernières questions lundi prochain. Mr. Sung Sikun is invited to Monsieur return Sung to the courtroom by Monday morning along vous with his duty counsel. Lundi matin, accompagné de votre avocat. So the next session for Mr. Sun Sikun testimony will be Monday next week. Lundi prochain que se poursuivra Court officer is now Monsieur instructed to assist Mr. Witness working with the West Unit so that uh, Mr. Sun Sikun can be properly assisted and return to his home and have him return to the courtroom by Monday. Next week by 9 a.m. Pour 9 heures du matin. Counsel for Mr. Nunchia, you may now proceed. La Thank you, uh, Mr. President. Uh, Merci, our client Nunchia would like to follow this afternoon's proceedings from his holding cell as he is suffering temporaire. from a headache, Car il back de pain, de tête, and a general lack de dos, of concentration. And we have concentration. prepared the waiver Nous for you. Le document de renonciation à votre intention. The president. Le president. The chamber noted la chambre the request made by Mr. Nunchia through his counsel, in which Nunchia he has asked that he be excused from the courtroom and be allowed to observe the proceedings from his holding cell due to his ill health. En raison de son état de santé. Counsel has already indicated that uh, he would uh, proceed with the submission of the waiver signed or given sampling by Mr. Nunchi in due course. The chamber therefore grants such requests. Mr. Nunchi is now allowed to Monsieur observe Nunchia the proceedings from his holding cell through video link, and he has expressly waived his right to participate directly in the court. Counsel is now advised to La Défense est prié submit de the waiver le signed or given some print by Mr. Nunchi. Signé par M. Nunchea ou portant ses empreintes digitales. And AV Et ce, dès que possible, services techniques veuillent brancher well le matériel audiovisuel so pour assurer la liaison entre la cellule temporaire et le prétoire. Ainsi, M. Nunchea pourra suivre l'audience à distance pour le restant de la journée. Agent de sécurité, veuillez conduire M. Nunchea et Kyo Sampan à leur cellule temporaire respective et ramener M. Kyo Sampan dans le prétoire. In the afternoon session Cet après-midi, avant resumes. la reprise des débats. The chamber wishes to inform the parties and the public that, that during this afternoon session, Cet the chamber continues hearing la testimony of witness saw so see so Questions siek. continue to be put by the prosecution. L'accusation poursuivra son interrogatoire de ce témoin. L'audience est levée. Some crowd show.